Well, as feared, it's clouded in and raining, and I am not feeling good today. So, I've instructed Marcus that his job is to go out and kill a sheep today, even though I'm probably not going. I'm going to stay here at camp with the spotter and hope that those eight rams come back in here and uh, try to give my liver a rest. And if Marcus doesn't shoot a ram, if he finds a legal ram, he's fired. He keeps deferring and worrying about me shooting the first ram. Well, this is an order, Marcus. You have to shoot a legal ram if you see it today. And hopefully by tomorrow, my head won't feel like it's this big. Only if it's in rifle range. If, we, if I see one that's a ways off, we'll save it no. for tomorrow. So here he is. Marcus <laughs> is just telling me that if he sees one way off, he's not going to go after it. He'll save it for tomorrow. Well, what we know is that these rams are here today gone tomorrow so if you see one and don't go after it you're fired <laughs> stay tuned i'm sure whatever marcus has for you today is going to be worth watching <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I kept telling myself I wasn't going to stop until I got to that rock. And every time I looked out, the rock was like further away. I was like, come on. Sure seems that way, doesn't it? Hopefully those sheep will be just over. Oh, I'll be sorry, yeah. Chief. So we hiked up this mountain where I was pretty sure we saw rams from a long ways away yesterday. And uh, nothing where we saw them. We saw a couple of ewes and lambs. And we waited for those to move off. And then we moved up here and came up this gnarly little saddle back into this basin behind this ridiculously rugged mountain. It's this jagged. <laughs> But anyway, so we found a way through the saddle. We popped over the top, and there's, well, how many is there? 14, I think? I didn't count. I was I, just well, there's 14 for sheep. I think there's a couple of ewes in there, actually. <laughs> but there's a bunch of rams over here, and two of them are just, like, they're legal. We got over eight rings. They're probably, close, you know, 10 or over. So, problem is, they're about 600 yards away, which I'm not shooting. So, in order to get there, we have to go back down this gnarly chute, over the island, well there's another saddle in, over and past the gnarly peaks, down a drainage, up a drainage, around, and then back up. I don't know, it's, it might not be possible, but we're going to try. And if it's not possible, at least we have a good spot to go tomorrow. But, we'll see if we can actually even get to there. But. I'm excited. We finally found some nice rams, other than those eight we've been chasing. So, follow along. We're gonna be running through some scree for the next little bit. <laughs>
I'm not sure what Marcus and uh, Branson are up to, but I have a plan to go kill that ram that we counted the rings on. We got so close on opening day, we counted the rings on him in the photographs. And now his group of eight is down here. They came into the area we're allowed to hunt. And Marcus and Branson are somewhere out in these mountains running around. Hopefully Marcus has killed the sheep. That would be great. But it's dinner time. I'm going to eat. And hope that Marcus and Branson get here because I'm waking them up at about 2 in the morning. And we're going on a march up there. And by 4.30 in the morning, we're going to be in position to shoot one of those rams. Alright, we got to the top of the first ridge. Now we need to go down this, up that ridge, and around that red knob, and two more basins. Uh. Alright, we're probably one third of the way through our circle around the mountain, but we need some water. So we're gonna get some water and probably a quick snack. And then we're gonna kill the sheep. I've already decided that. We're gonna kill this sheep. It's gonna happen. Oh, okay. I thought that we could kind of skirt the next basin. Here's the mountain we're trying to circle. And now we gotta go through here somewhere. Uh, I don't know if we'll make it. We're gonna make it. Okay, Brandon we're, says we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We better start going though. I don't know how, how we're gonna do it. We gotta get up that ridge down and then the last ridge shouldn't be as bad hopefully. No, that one should be easy. Ridge, whatever. I don't know, a whole lot of them. So, been circling around this. Now we're at this basin. We got a couple of ewes and lambs in there. Hopefully they don't spook, but we gotta go down this chute, around, and pop over that saddle, and that's where they are. And we have about an hour to do it. So, ready, set, go. Well, the rams aren't here. I don't know where they went. I don't know about Branson, but that was one of the hardest mental and physical up and down climbs I've ever done. Just brutal. And they're not here. <laughs> but we did see a little ram over here, so we're gonna run up. We got another half hour of light maybe and see if there was anything else with him. I don't know, I don't know where these ones went. All right, well, we'll be back if we see another ramp. <laughs> well, it's getting close to dark. 
Not that it gets dark here in August, but Marcus and Branson went that way about 12, 14 hours ago and said they'd be back for dinner unless they killed the sheep. I ate dinner about an hour, hour and a half ago, and they're not back, so I'm hoping they killed the sheep. Because I'm going to take care of my pack and get everything ready in the morning, for morning, and then I'm going to bed. But I won't sleep very well until I hear their footsteps make it to camp. Young people. Young people. They make old people like me worry. Anyhow, I don't know what day this is. I think this was day five. Thanks for watching. I'm sure we'll have a story tomorrow because those sheep that have two legal rams that we got up on opening morning are up in that basin and they've come into the unit where we can hunt again. So, as tired as Marcus and Branson are going to be when they get here tonight, when I wake them up at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning and say we're marching up there for three hours to get to those sheep, they're really going to be tired. The only way they get a pardon from that marching episode tomorrow is if they come back here with the sheep tonight. Thanks for watching.